Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be sharing six of my favorite tips to help retain the information that you study. The first tip is to read over your notes before you go to sleep at night. This is because when you sleep, your brain consolidates information that you've studied just before going to bed. I've started doing this for the past week or so and it's been really helpful so far. One study found that both the timing of studying and the number of hours of sleep that you get can have an impact on your performance in tests. This is a little notebook where I try to keep everything that I don't understand or I'm having difficulty remembering, which is quite a lot of things, and it really helps to glance at it every night. Tip number two is to test yourself. This is probably one of the most important ones because simply rereading your notes and highlighting, which I'm quite guilty of, has been shown to be much less effective than doing practice papers. Try to make a few questions on each topic as you go along, and it helps to store these in one place. I use Notion to keep most of my work online in case I lose my notebooks, which has happened in the past. Using the Active Recall framework, you should ideally review your questions after 1, 3, 7 and 14 days to make the information stick in your long-term memory. This isn't particularly realistic for me personally, so I try to review on the weekend and if I forget, then every second week works as well. And once I finally go over the questions, I can colour code them based on how well I've understood them from green, red and amber. The next tip is to try to teach the content to someone else without any notes. When you try to teach someone, you realise how well you actually understand the information yourself. Here I'm just going over a long volume graph, which was quite tricky to get my head around initially. And these were my students for the day. Tip number four is to try to present the information to yourself in different ways. For example, I have a whiteboard and post-it notes as well. My hope when doing this form of revision is that if I stick it on the wall enough, it will eventually stick in my brain, especially if it's a series of boring letters and numbers as you can see here. Next up is one of my personal favourite study tools, using mnemonics and acronyms to help remember boring facts and figures. It can be really useful to make stories out of the information or to draw pictures and diagrams if you're a visual learner. This is an example to help remember the names of the bones in the hand. When I was learning these for the first time, I remember drawing them on my actual hand, which probably wasn't the best thing to do, but it was really useful at the time. The final tip is to plan out your work in advance, especially if you have a test. And I think timetabling can be so, so important, and there's loads of different ways to go about it, so you can have a notebook planner, or a desktop planner as well. I personally prefer using plain paper and just drawing out a table and slotting in the days. In an ideal world where cramming and procrastination didn't exist, I would start revising for a test approximately one week before and break up the content into chunks and create questions as I went along. And then I would do a practice test a few days before the actual test so that I knew what to focus on. I really hope you guys benefited from some of the tips in this video. Please let me know in the comments below which videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.